everybody welcome back to another video uh, this overland engineer like and subscribe if you like my content but today we're talking about this ongoing question of how do you mount your max tracks to your roof and there's no good option for off-brand max tracks so let's jump right in I think I found a solution that you're gonna love While there is really no good way for me to link the parts I've used down in the description, uh, I'll let you use the video as a way to try and piece together parts if you want to try and do it yourself. Otherwise, uh, if this is something that interests you, I'm, I'm actually seriously considering building kits so that people could purchase those at a, at a small fee off of a, my website. So if that's something that you would be interested in, comment down below and I'll see if I can put some work into developing kits like that for you all so that you could purchase them and they'd be more of a ready to go item rather than you having to go out and buy all the parts yourself so thanks again for watching to take a minute to explain my methodology here so basically I have these LFD aftermarket cross cross arms um, the roof rack cross rails cross members I don't know what you exactly call these roof rails I feel like these are called the rails anyways um, these have pre-drilled holes and I need to look around to see what else has pre-drilled holes so that I can kind of give you guys a better feedback to your builds besides just the stock cross rails which really aren't that great. So these ones at least come with holes which is really great because you can mount stuff to them. So what I did is I bought these super long carriage screws and then they they sit in this channel right here. They're a, they're a square there's like a square part to the shaft of the screw before it turns into this threaded portion here. And so what I did is I bought these so that the screw would sit in there and it wouldn't move back and forth at all because of that square portion. The square portions sit up flush on either side of the channel. And then there's a little rubber washer and then a flat washer, a lock washer, and then a threaded nut. And this is a, one of those nylon threaded nuts so in theory this really shouldn't go anywhere so if you're someone who has a rack like a prinsu rack where it accommodates a t-shaped nut i believe is what they're called where you have sliding track and you have a threaded nut that lies in that track so you can anchor things to your roof rack what i'd recommend is just buying a threaded bolt similar to what i have but instead of the end having like a carriage bolt where there's a square portion of the shaft that would fit in a sliding section, sort of like my roof rack, uh, what you could do is just buy one of those threads. Uh, you can buy them, I think, at, at most hardware stores, but basically there's like a two, one or two foot long threaded shaft and you have to cut it to your own length but you could basically do exactly what i'm doing here by putting a t-nut through your roof rack and then using one of those custom cut threaded length shafts to do the exact same thing that i'm doing
three bolts in and the fourth one not is the fourth one I need to, to get a new nut because I stripped the nut and I'm gonna show you now how I put all of my traction pads on top of here Thank you everyone for continuing to come back and check out my content on this channel. Um, in the future, I have some exciting new videos coming in my office sort of desk setup series that I'm working on right now, as well as some big changes to my platform that I've been also working on. So as well as kind of a surprise that's maybe going to come towards the end of October. So uh, if you're excited about tech and you're excited about overlanding, then uh, really watch for my you know new uploads that are going to be coming and subscribe and, and turn on the notification bell if you really want to be notified when i post those things so thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video